In this video, I'll show you how to use the min function and the max function. So let's go ahead and start in. So with the min function, let's go ahead and do our insert function wizard here. Bring the window up. Type in min. See that I've already recently used it, so it's down here. So I'll go ahead and select that. Click OK. And what the min function does is it gives us the minimum value, the minimum, the minimum numeric value based on our selection. So we selected our range here from D2 to D13. So our minimum value is the number two. We have number two here. What it does, what the min value does, function does, it ignores text like none here in cell D7 and in D13. Now with the min A function, that does not ex exclude values here that are text or any other logical values. Let's go ahead and give an example. Since I did the min A function earlier, let me go and bring that up. So what happens if I select this range here? It's going to choose the minimum value and it'll bring out of this range and it'll bring back zero. Now what happens is that text is considered the a zero, the numerical value of zero. The only exception is if we have true. True represents a numerical value of one, whereas false represents a numerical value of zero and any other thing. So it looks like we have zero here and that's the reason that is because this TBD represents zero. So if I gave this a number like 10, true, which equals one, will show up here, as we see right here. Let's go back and do this TBD, and go back and make this none. And for the max value, basically, it's the opposite of the min. So we type in max to go search for it. Go to max here, double click that. That's another way of choosing it. And I get, I get, I select my range here from D13, excuse me, D3 to D13. Click OK, and the maximum value is 26. Same here for max A. I told, go ahead and do the insert function, get max A. I look for my range here, and see that selected type OK it's going to give back the value of 26 because 26 is the largest value here of course if it since it's a max value these text values of none or TBD are considered zero even if I put true here it's it's true equals one and we're not looking for a minimum value we're looking for a max value so pretty much the max and max a value are going to give the similar or same results in this instance so here's a brief example of how to use the min and max value functions in Excel. Thanks for watching.